In this video, I play the Spaghetti Sherman that has a very sneaky trick up its sleeve. Hope you guys enjoy this intro. Oh, they're in fuel tank. This guy is backing off to his friend, maybe. Right, now where's the other guy? Reach again. Take out the rest of his crew now, hopefully. Right. I see you up there. Another 57, I think. What an absolutely abysmal shot, dude. He missed me. And uh, my reload is much worse than his. Not without a loader, is it? Right, we, we fight this fight another time, right? Okay. I tracked him and he's on fire. Reach, please. Sir. No, you, you are doing fine where you were. I should not have won that engagement, but we did. A big, stinky naval gun boy. You wait right here though, right? You stay there. Good. That was not good. He has no idea. Am I getting bombed? Yes. <laughs> Come here, big baba. Okay, he's dropped a lot of bombs on somebody. Run, sea cat people. Where is it? Oh, <laughs> eee. We're good. And bombs out. Those are good. That's a lot of <laughs> Buongiorno and welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the Italian Sherman Firefly for one reason and one reason only. Well, actually two. A viewer has been desperately asking me to play this thing, although I've played it for quite a bit already. Uh, yeah, it gets APDS, Tiaboos look away, because the British one doesn't get this. 228mm of penetration with one of the most inaccurate cannons in the game. I think that's a historical thing. Uh, but yeah, it's very good. I don't think I need to explain it. It only faces up to 6.0 now. It used to be 5.3 where it could see uh, King Tigers and... Uh, much scarier things than that but unfortunately for this guy the APDS is really the only good thing uh, this has the slowest Sherman engine I believe in the game and one of the worst hulls and one of the worst turrets and it only gets five degrees of gun depression there's a very quick reload though with an expert crew which I can't argue about the 50 cal can't look straight up to shoot down an aircraft uh, it's a bit of a sad boy that way but that's just the firefly now, before anyone argues that this thing's armor is actually pretty decent, I'm just going to point you to the obvious thing here. Same old 50mm uh, sloped front plate, but it has these uh, ideal shots that basically a Whirlwind can put. Well, actually, it can't anymore. Wow. And also, you've got this thing. Uh, not very good. 100mm here. Uh, just kidding. It's only 76. That's not ideal. On top of all these negative things I've already mentioned, it has pretty much no reverse gear at all because it's British and Britain didn't believe in going backwards. But despite all this, I've managed more than a 10kd spade in this thing uh, since I started playing it, which is uh, highly good. Uh, for obvious reasons, it does very well. Nothing to do with the APDS. Just kidding. It's entirely to do with the APDS. I want to show you some of the games that I played today. Uh, uh, Epilepsy Warren, I think, because the fireworks display for Victory Day. Uh, in which the reason for that is because they defeated a country that invaded them in World War II and currently they are... yeah, you guys get where I'm coming from. <laughs> Let's get into battle. I can hear gunfire. Right, here we go. My mouse sensitivity has been reset again. It's a bit weird. Very slow. Let's see if it's fixed in the plane, right? Here we go though. 32 rounds, APDS. I know it seems like a lot, but we do have to shoot enemies a lot more generally to to hurt them. Where was it? Five, three. Oh, we're in a, a bit of a, a bit of an up tier, but five, seven. Which is gonna. End. Oh. Now we've figured out what it was. It's pretty bizarre. Is this a victory day thing? You know, I'm all for like the celebration of the allies defeating the. You know, I don't want to say the word in case I get demonetized, but I think maybe. 
considering what Russia has done. And I don't, I don't mean the Russian people, right? Of course. I think uh, celebrating this might be a little bit crass. I won't call out anybody for it, but like, you know, hey, and try and boycott stuff. Because I'm not that type of person, but this is a bit weird. Yo, the fireworks are like, pretty intense. Is it supposed to be like this? It's quite off-putting. Oh, heck no. I'm gonna load our engine radiator, so we took his mobility, which is, oh, there's an SU-122 behind him as well. The real wood's pretty good. Considering the round that we have. That is a wee bit scarier. It's a KV-1C, I think. Oh, a KW-1C now, right? And... There we go, dude. The old one-shot of Rooney. Yeah, I don't want to bring politics to my channel, but... I'm a bit creeped out. Gaijin. Slightly. Let's get some RA here. Yeah. My, my boy in the 76 Sherman is doing some good work. Let's get pinged in the back. By this lad, I'm guessing. Of course it's up in my right. Nice. Okay. I, uh, I'm missing a loader. Which is... Not great. Hello, KB2. I tried to go for his ammo down in the hull and I got his the fuel tank only. That's what APDS does, right? I'm still keeping it loaded. Go for some crew. Make his oh damn, there's a an even scarier boy behind. Okay, let's hit that guy. And this is a T3457. Oh. It's a sad mobile. Another another nice uh, ammo rack that I was aiming for. It's poor KB2. As I take him out. No one's watching this way except this cheery. Uh, to the APDS, uh, this VR is like a weird double edged sword, right? Where great pen, but not very good. What do you call Post pen. Post pen. Still migrating. Uh, might be dead here. Nope, he, he took longer to get his gun on target than I did, and that's saying something. Yeah, you, you really gotta know where to aim. Like, it needs to be absolutely spot on, or you're in trouble. Another KV-2, right? It's a KV-1, a KV-2 is this thing. Is this 6? Is this thing. I don't know if anyone else suffers from migraines, but it's very difficult to get your brain to work properly sometimes. Especially with the... Uh, Speech for me. Right, he got his turret ring. And he just got blew up. This T-34 is watching... This jumble back here? Oh. This is not what I wanted to happen, but it's happening now. Can I even get my gun down to hit that dude? Okay. It's a 57, right? Uh-huh. Yep. Oh! It's an STZ. Which is a T-34E. It has additional armor on its hull. I thought I would still go through, but... There you go, did that. Oh, he just got shot. That is the power of... Oh, that plane. That's the power of spaced armor. Or applique armor. Where did that aircraft go? I can't believe he pulled out of that. This, uh, this round is pretty good though. It's the same one in the Comet and stuff like that. But a 17 pounder with APDS at this BR is pretty remarkable. I think this was 7.3 before. <laughs> Fuel explosion is not what I was aiming for, but it's what we got. I kind of wanted to get my loader crew replenished, but <laughs> things are going absolutely perfectly well right now, so really no need. Oh, my man. Easy peasy, dude. Just absolutely blasted him. And I think, uh, I think this is a pretty decent spot up here too, right? There's a guy back here. It's a panther. Yeah, it was a panther. 
Ay. Got his gun breached, that's gonna help my team out a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll get that kill on that guy anymore. Let's move around here. Plenty enemies to go. Eight kills in my first match playing this thing. We, we did almost die though. So, the, the fireworks are over the cap. They're also over the spawn. I don't have an assist on this IS-1 yet. That is uh, P-3485. Again, a good breach shot just to keep him out of action for a little while. I don't want to get marked on the map going up here and I really want to find where this IS-1 went originally. Is that another guy? A different one. Or is he just reverse instead of go forward? I think he's reversed because obviously he's engaging somebody else, right? He's watching me here, look. He, he marked me with his machine gun. It's a big old GG though. Oh, here we go. What's up, big fella? Ah, I missed him. He's got bombs for me, I think. We're gonna be alright. Was a Yak 4? Oh yeah, he double tracked us. That's, oh well, GG. Nine, nine kills there, I'm pretty happy with that. Good start. Right, we're on Swoden. I've been doing a bit of testing and test drive between the APDS and the AP round. And I thought maybe like this would still be useful to kind of carry around. And it is, but it's very limited. I thought that things like uh, frontally pen and like a Tiger say would it be better to load just an AP. But it's not. The APDS seems to give off round about the same shrapnel. The only good thing as far as I say uh, side shot and a panther, right? Where the where the armor is like 40 millimeters and the crew are quite spaced out. But even then, you're better off just shooting the side of the breach, right? Like that. And then taking your time. You just still use an APDS. And I, I, I see really a very limited reason for bringing these out, but we'll take four with us just in case. It makes me wonder why like the Brit a British Firefly doesn't have this, but it does make the Italian Tech Tree kind of worth playing a bit more. We're facing USA. Actually, I don't think we can pen a uh, Jumbo that easy, still. Um, we'll have to go for a Mantlet shot first. I hear baddies oh, on both sides, actually. This is where I wish I have smoke launchers, right? I'm going to try and duck in here real fast. I'm not going to give him a visual on me until he's actually there. That's a tiger. I should have shot him quicker. Oh yeah, yeah the, the breach shot is the way. Driver now. Right. Unfortunately, he killed somebody before I got him. Old Atomic Jackal. And there's a guy on the B-cap still. We're going to have to make a move. We're not the best brawler in the world just because our gun handling is pretty terrible. So that last match I got engine and I got the filters and I, and I was horizontal turret drive as well. What are you, big fella? I give you 103. He's using his crazy gun depression. Someone's popping smoke. Oh, hey. Always get that breach first so they can't really do anything to you. And then if anything else kind of swings by right, you can definitely be safe for at least 20 seconds or so. Oh, you replaced that guy already, did you? Right. There's a guy down the street now. Might die from the right. Is a big a panther again breach it's the wisest of all decisions this driver now I might just try and hit ammo there we go right no doubt somebody will be coming from behind us shortly another plane Uh -huh. 
that's not good. I like him to take a shot at Matt. Oh, he got my turret cheek. Did he get my turret cheek? My turret ring is out as well. Right. I should have just went for that shot in the first place, probably. I tried to hit his engine so he couldn't turn. No loader. Like last time. Get on B. I'm researching smoke launchers right now, which would have been incredibly handy right now. Oh god. Are we dead? That's a wormhole. Pray for me. I think he's AFK. Bombs for me. No, not for me. Right, back to B, let's go. We we are doing incredibly well right now. I think there's too many enemy aircraft. Swedish A21. Panther D just killed our comet. Nice job, dude. Okay, good. This is good pressure. And I think we're okay. Oh, I don't have crew replenishment yet, actually. Well, we can't be doing that then. The verbal wind is probably the scariest thing we'll face. Oh, that was an agile cannon. Not worried about him. Ah, yeah, there you go, yeah. He shot my breach out, even. Yeah. <laughs> and a live have got us. I, I tried to fire, and uh, it was too late. This thing had already beat me up a little bit. Right, let's go S791. Uh, we're gonna drop our bomb fuse time to one second though. And universal, let's go. Scared of that Livkov and the Wurble, of course. There's an M16 there as well. But we do have 1800 rounds of uh, mining gashos. <laughs> uh, and uh, and a couple of APs. Oh, it's on C because of the fireworks going off. Very cute gaijin. And my teammates are cleaning up these guys right now. There is our waffle tractor. One for you and one for you. Excellent, dude. Two, two perfect bomb drops. And that's GG. Nice. Very good game. Right, we got a big old snipey map. What's our reload? Is it 7 seconds? 6.2, it's really fast. We keep an eye on this bridge as we got up here. And uh, anyone got up that hill as well. Oh, M18, please don't stop. Engine's out. He missed. There's another IS-1 there. I only took that guy's commander out. My line of sight's getting cut off with M18 spam. Right, it's a KV-85. One of them's gone. And the one I didn't crit is the one that's pushing across like a lunatic right now. Perfect. Perfect, dude. That's what we need. Right, I think most of the other guys now have probably seen the death on the bridge and they're not going to go that way. So, uh, I'm imagining in the town now. I don't know why these M18s aren't pushed up to the next location. Oh, I see a lot of people playing super passive and vehicles that are not good at playing passive. Not a big boy moving that way. A verbal one just killed two or threes, did well then. Very poor shot, dude. I'm dead here for sure. Angle, please. He missed, but he's got a good reload. That's a gunner, I'll need to do. And the enemy's now on A cap. Oh, hey. Did he die? It was a little ASU. Oh, well. oh there's a KV-220 somewhere. Is that big boy back in the bridge? I just want to keep my range. That's what keeps me alive, right? Engine radio. Such an easy gun to aim. 
I got one of his crew. There we go. Somehow he got his driver with that shrapnel in. There's a T-34-85. Sorry, 57 coming. I don't think he's forgotten about me, has he? No, he absolutely has not. He's got a friend too. Two of them. I don't know why I didn't pin, but it's pretty annoying. I really wanted to get his engine so I can deal with him one at a time. Now I think I got two guys now watching the same spot and I've got no teammates left. I... my shell vanished. Is that a, An enemy's coming up behind me too. Look what it is, an RASU. Horizontal drives out. This is not the good. Okay, we're on fire, but still alive somehow. Did my teammate try and bomb them? This verbal's gonna kill me eventually. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I have no team. They are, they all pushed. They all pushed into places where they were super vulnerable and all died, right? Let's go plane. My only hope, I think, is getting my teams onto the ACAP. Okay, two two tank destroyers dead. That's not terrible. Good job, P61. He's also got really good 20 mils. Same ones on that Corsair I played yesterday. Okay, 4.3. Those two bomb drops are out. That Wurble's also having a good go at him. Oh, don't head on a Wurble wind, dude. We needed you. See this guy down here. Might get yoinked with a wobble, but is this the KV220? That mouse is firing at me. Oh, it's just a KV1. So scary. At least he's gone. If I can just guide this guy into the cap, he's dead. An ASU killed him. Another one. Right, I see the I see the big guy in the trees now. Right, I see the ASU. There goes the T thirty four fifty seven. What one still shooting at me? Right, we'll come back round for the KB two twenty now. Hopefully, oh, we are fine. Kind of funny. I'm gonna have to go round for the KB two twenty and then go for this plane. But this guy has to go. I think I might actually double bomb him. It's not a 220, but it's still a KB. Didn't get him. Never mind. Okay, wings off. And another plane to deal with now. One of my engines is red, which is a serious problem. Another ASU 57 dead. Right, let's see if we get this guy behind me. On purpose. Did he get that wobble? No, I don't think they did. I almost got his gun up. I just want this little I-16 to come my way. Ouch. Okay, he's dead. The I-16 chasing me still or no? Just can't get anyone on this cap.
Wait, and I think that's going to be game, right? Uh, if one of my teammates managed to get on the cap, then uh, then I'd respawn. But it looks like uh, it looks like there's no chance of us getting there. Nah, it's over. Then, well, done our best. Nine kills, bunch of one death leavers, and then that's it. <laughs> All right, uh, what a strange BR to be leaving it. So regardless of the terrible gains we had, we did extremely well. Uh, like I pretty much a 10 KD just shy. But one ratio, not so good. If you're wondering where the other four games are, uh, three of them went extremely well, but they were just kind of boring for like YouTube footage, if you get me. One had bad commentary, and then I got killed immediately on a Mozdoc map, and that was that. Overall though, a really powerful tank, but I think Italy has this really bad problem of just not really having a lineup. I don't think this thing is very good to bring into like 6-0, and neither is just a normal Firefly. Uh, and then if you up BR this thing to like 5-7 where you've got like an M18, that's it. Oh no, this thing is actually very good. Maybe it's okay at 5-7 like as a backup, but you're kind of limited with the Italian tank tree just because mostly they just borrow every other nation's tanks, right? Anyway, it's that time of evening again. I'm getting a bit like slow because of this migraine. Hopefully it passes like tomorrow. I'm going to get my hair cut and stuff and have a nice uh, little morning tomorrow and hopefully I'll have recovered. I'll be back again, don't worry, still have video out every single day in May. Uh, but as always, I'd like to thank all of my supporters here over on YouTube and to all the financial supporters as well over on Discord, Twitch and Patreon, especially the Tier 3s over on Discord. That's Calvino, Destari, Gifted, Greed, Marushin, Millie Mills, Stoyan and The Reformation. And to everyone on Patreon, that's Sickness, Win, Bilka the Tactical, Broccoli, Matthew S, Eric, Bjorn Hansen, Jesse Mills, The Tackle Guy, Toast McGee, Anders Stormwind, Archangel Ari, Brahma Nation, Sexy, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Gifted Greed, Handsome Tortilla, Kin the Salt Lord, Kino Sobasa, Cal Metany, Ralph, Rige, Tectonic, The Fire Piper, The Reformation, Trash Panda, TV2000 Atomic, Vanian, Warpig, Shaf, Mortanen, Stoyan, J. Tormey, Mr. Buswell, Shmoo, and Stuart Netherton. And to everyone still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye